This video will demonstrate the standard operating procedure for the Brookfield RVDVE viscometer. This is the Brookfield digital viscometer. You can use it to measure the viscosity of liquid samples. To turn on the viscometer, first turn the power switch to the on position. The display of the screen will then appear. The viscometer in the FNH teaching lab comes with a set of five spindles. The size number is engraved on each spindle. You can start with a spindle of any size and make adjustments according to the viscosity readings. To attach the spindle onto the viscometer, gently lift up and hold the coupling nut on the viscometer. Then gently twist the selected spindle clockwise onto the coupling nut. Be careful not to bend the shaft when attaching the spindle. Change the spindle number shown on the display by flipping the spindle slash speed switch towards spindle and spin the wheel to the corresponding number you've chosen. Then flip the switch back to the middle. To change the speed of the spindle, flip the switch to speed and turn the wheel to make adjustments. When done, flip the switch back to the middle. You can raise or lower your spindle using the knob at the back of the viscometer. Transfer adequate sample to a beaker. Make sure the temperature of your sample is consistent during every reading because the viscosity is affected by changes in temperature. Temperature of the sample should be measured before or during analysis. The beaker should be large enough for your selected spindle and the amount of your sample should submerge the spindle to the etched mark. Once the spindle is submerged, turn on the motor and the spindle should be spinning. Make sure your spindle is always at the center of your beaker. Wait a few seconds and record the reading that is most frequently displayed in MPAS. Make sure the percentage value shown on the screen is within the range of 10% to 100%. If the percentage value is lower than 10%, increase the spinning speed and use a larger spindle. If the percentage value is higher than 100%, Decrease the spinning speed and use a smaller spindle. If you see EEEE -E 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 on the reading, it means the sample is too viscous for the spindle and you will need to use a smaller spindle. Every time when you change the spindle, always remember to change the spindle number in the viscometer. After you finish, turn off the motor and raise the spindle. Replace the sample beaker with a waste beaker. Use DD water to wash off the sample residue on the spindle. Wipe the spindle with Kim wipes. Detach the spindle from the viscometer and put it back into the box. Thank you for watching.